Hey, Keith and Gustavo over at Seriously Strong Training. Today we're going to show you how to do goblet squats with a kettlebell. Gustavo's going to pick it up. He's going to hold it by the horns, right? That's what these are called. Horns, just like on a bull. He's got a good firm grip here. He's going to bring it really close to his chest. He's got his shoulders down and back. We're going to show you this from the side in just a moment. But for now, from the front, hold by the horns. Keep it close to your chest. Keep it high as well. Common mistakes I see are people letting it kind of drift down or keep it too far away. Both things are going to wear out your shoulders before you're able to get a great leg workout. So keep it close. Keep it high. Shoulders down and back. We've got our feet about shoulder width apart. And then we're just going to demo a few squats here for you from the front. Beautiful. Today we're just working on going down to about parallel. With these, you can go down as, as really as low as you feel comfortable. Just make sure that your feet stay planted throughout the entire movement. From the side here, I'm going to have Gustavo pause. Look how flat his back is. He's got almost a little bit of curve this way. It's a little concave, which is really nice. Knees nice and wide. Hip crease about parallel with the knee. Remember with goblet squats, you can go lower, you can go higher. Just do what's comfortable, but you want to make sure you're keeping really rigid here. Your feet are staying planted. Your knees are nice and wide. Go ahead and come up. Let's go ahead and show up from the front one more time. When I'm talking about knees wide, this is what I mean. His knee is pointing to about where his pinky toe is, right? Make sure you're not making the common mistake of letting those babies crash in. Because when you're doing these gamba squats, what you want to think about doing is you want to think about getting between your thighs, right? So don't think about getting on top of them because you're going to feel really awkward. You're going to feel a lot of strain in the quads. When we're doing these gamba squats, you want to get a lot more even muscular uh, engagement, right? In the glutes, the hamstrings, the core, everything. And that's going to come from you getting those knees nice and wide. Look how he goes between his knees, right? He can go all the way down like that. But if he has the knees crashing in, it's going to stop at some point because it's going to get real uncomfortable in the hip flexors. Um, you're going to get really tired in the quads. So when you're doing these, make sure you're not just feeling in the quads. Make sure you're feeling it in the glutes, the hamstrings, a lot more evenly everywhere. And that's going to come from keeping that back nice and tight, keeping the kettlebell high on the chest, keeping it close, keeping the knees nice and wide, and making sure your feet stay planted throughout the entire movement. 